From handing out the coveted AAA credit rating to downgrading countries on the basis of a glitch in performance, the ratings agencies, headed by the big three of Moody's, Standard & Poor's and Fitch, have become controversial players on the world economic stage. Their adjudications, based on discussions with financial administrators and meetings of their ratings committees, can have a significant effect on a country's standing in the financial community, based as they are on political and economic factors. While in theory these assessments are apolitical, they can heavily influence investors, informing them of the risks where they will be exposing themselves to and whether the country in question is able or willing to repay its debts. And with the current Eurozone debt crisis, the credit ratings of all European states are under threat. A country's rating can be downgraded due to a variety of factors, like worrying growth potential or a general inability to implement an efficient austerity plan, as is the case in several European countries at the moment. And once a country's credit rating has been downgraded, it in turn means an increase in interest rates for that country when it comes to borrowing, making it more expensive to repay its debts. At present, 115 countries are rated, and most of them will pay the agencies to rate their debt standing, which represents about 90% of the agency's turnover. But the agencies are not without their critics, having shown themselves less than infallible during the 2007 subprime crisis when they gave favourable ratings to many financial products which turned out to be toxic. And in 2008, shortly before it went into liquidation, sparking the current global financial crisis, Lemon Brothers Bank was also handed a favourable credit rating. Scores of smaller agencies may have sprung up in recent times, but the big three is still account 90% of all ratings activity.